Hi Sagittarius! Welcome to Antique Tarot. Today we're doing your Twin Flame Love Reading for the month of January 2023. I've already called in all my guys and angels. So let's see what this month have in store for you. Happy New Year, by the way. Hope your New Year is starting off on a good note so far. And we are um, pulling these Oracle cards first just to get the feel of the energy for you guys. So, let's see. Spirit Guys, Angels, Senate Masters, can we get card for the current energies for the twin flame for the Sagittarius twin flame collective this feels like this one stillness stillness all right so maybe some meditation time or time to reflect is there any other oh I flip up I flip right here so we have trust. So trust. Be still and trust, right? Blessing. We have sage. That's funny. I just uh, burn sage and smudge this whole area before I turn on the camera. Blessing, sage. And then we have nettle action. All right. So stillness, trust, blessing, and action are the current energies for your twin flame connection. Is there any other ones for from this deck? Creativity. I honor my passions. Alright. And then one from this deck. one ascension symptoms so some of you may be uh, dealing with ascension symptoms for ascension all right so let's go ahead and pull the tarot cards and see what is going on so spirit guys angels oh that jumped out nine of wands Standing your ground. Defending. Now this could be you or them, okay? So it's a general reading, so take it how it resonates. But standing your ground. But I, I usually read for you, so it'll be them, I'm assuming. But if it feels like it's more you, then take it or switch the roles. But they're standing their ground. Defending. They may be on their last leg. But they are standing strong. Standing strong, taking a stance. Bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Pentacles. So, new beginnings. Yeah, new beginning. New beginning in love. And uh, wish fulfillment. So whatever they're standing against or taking a stance on, I think it feels like an energy's ending because, you know, they've been fighting. He's wounded. He's on his last leg or she. Um, and they've had it. So they're putting their foot down and taking a stance. So that energy feels like it's actually going to end because we have the action card here. And in the action card, we have a snake. So they're going to be... Uh, they're going to be taking action soon is what I'm feeling. Because uh, they've about had it. You know, the straw that broke the camel's back. They're at the very... It's only going to be one straw if they're not already there yet. We're reading for January 2023. So if it hasn't happened yet... This may be the month. 
All right, so that's karmic, karmic energies that they're working through. That's probably why they're also dealing with ascension symptom because they're ascending. Too many cards. Too many cards. We have Knight of Wands. That's your energy. Fire. So fast movement. Spirit guides, angel senate masters, messages for the Sagittarian twin flame connection. Yeah, expansive. Yeah, I, I have a sense that they're going to be leaving. If they're in a karmic connection, there's been a lot of fights and uh, they're standing up for themselves and they're not taking it anymore. So they're going to leave. He, ha he has his backpack and uh, he's going to hop on the next boat and go to new territory, expand his horizon. Yep, and there's that new solid new beginning. Looking for emotional fulfillment because he's had enough. That's the energy that I'm getting from that. Yeah, the emperor. Yep, he is the divine masculine. So he's taking a stance. The emperor is someone, you know, taking charge. Someone who is uh, an authority authoritative figure someone who's confident someone who's a boss someone who's in charge a leader so remember taking a stand standing up so he's uh taking a stance taking action standing up for himself taking charge so additional messages for the sagittarians twin flame collective and love I didn't need to say in love, but oh my goodness, you guys. Yep, I feel it. It's that same energy again. It's fighting. So lots of uh, things are coming at him. It could be the spouse or karmic, the the family, the siblings, the, the in-laws. See all of these? There's a lot. A lot of things darts are thrown at him a lot of things and he's defending that's why he's like wounded and he's standing up taking a stance against all of them all of it because i get a sense that they're on the side of the karmic so that's why he's here fending it all off on by himself on his own all right, additional messages, Spirit, for the Twin Flame. Something fl went flying here. Yeah, he's going to go out on his own soon if he hasn't. He's going to, he's stepping away from that. After he takes a stance, he's going to leave, walk out the door and isolate himself, go spend some time alone, be by himself. That's why he's, you know, just going to pack a bag and it's like, I'm out of here. And we have the Six of Cups, so there's a connection. There's a connection. He'll be coming to you. Not immediately, but yeah, as I say that, look, you guys can't make this shit up. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. Yeah, so the guys, the angels are bringing you guys together or, or bringing the connection together. So this is the new energy that's coming in. The Ace of uh, Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Six of Cups, the Lovers. So that energy is here. And that energy is feel totally different than that and that. So he's going through this, which is chaos fighting. He's leaving. Going to spend some time alone taking charge of his life and moving forward. And then there's going to be this connection. This is the a past life connection that he has or she has with you. All right. Yeah, temperance, balance, and healing may take some time and patience. Yeah, they're going to have to work through the, their options. There may be some confusions. But, yeah, cutting the crap with that sword. Cutting it out, all out. 
it's going to be quick. It's going to happen quickly, and there may be a, a message coming in quickly for you guys as well. Here's the King of Wands again, the fire sign. So this could be you guys, um, or you're dealing with a fire sign, or it's just, just confirming this is your reading. So if you're dealing with other fire sign, the other two fire sign are Leos and um, Aries, or you could be dealing with another Sagittarius. But look, we have the sun. So happy times ahead, happiness ahead, joyful happiness ahead. And it and it came up after the eight of uh, wands, so there could be happy news or good news coming in, or news, good news, happy news. All right, so let's pull from this deck and see if there's any. Uh, additional messages. This is my clarifier deck. I feel like this one. Look, uh, four of wands. Definite twin flame energy. This is the twin flame connection, past life connection, the eleven eleven, solid foundation, happy times. Yep, he's coming in. Twin flame cl connections coming in. As I say that, we get this. Wheel of Fortune, this is destined, destiny, destined change. It represents change. So change is definitely coming. So if things have been crappy, hold on, it'll get better. Definitely, definite change, and it's a destined change. It's, it's your destiny. Destined change, faded, destined meeting, destined connection. Two of coins. He may be juggling, or you may be juggling right now. Juggling a couple different things. But definitely a new, passionate, creative, new beginning. So you have Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. New beginning. Solid, new, creative, passionate beginning. Alright. Yeah, Knight of Coins. He's coming in. It's going to be slowly because it's not... Well, you did have... Didn't you have the... Yeah, you have the King of Wands, which is a little faster. But then you also have the Knight of Wands. So this is a little slower, but slow and steady. But definitely forward movement coming in after clearing all that crap up. All right. So let's pull. Um, these are self-care cards. And see what they need to work on and what you need to work on for self-care. So spirit guides, angels, and masters. Okay, that was easy. Good girl power. The ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is your own power. Okay, so this is what they're this is what they're learning and this is what they're going through. So, I got a sense that they, you know, basically took it and took it and took it and took it and took it, you know, whatever it was, the verbal abuse, the fight, the, you know, they didn't fight back, they kept quiet, got to the point, remember I said the straw that broke the camel's back, got to the point where they're not taking it anymore, they've had it, enough is enough, so they're taking a stance. So, this is confirming that it's good for them, because the, these are self-care car, it's about power, standing in your power, being in power, being in your truth. You know, loving yourself enough to take a stand, standing up for your right, you know, standing up for, from the abuse. The ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is your own power. So they're learning how to say no, setting boundaries. Okay, so that's them. And let's see for you. Can we get a self-care card for Sagittarius? reassess you have the right to change your mind so maybe you thought it was over or you're not sure whatever whatever the situation is this is saying to reassess or you may be reassessing and it's okay to change your mind you know we have time on the top time spent worrying is time spent and then we also have peace. Just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. Yeah, so whatever they're going through, he or she going through, there's a lot of chaos and drama. 
don't let that energy come and affect your energy. All right. And that may, if you are in separation, that may be why you're in separation because you don't want your guys, your angel spirits protecting you from that chaotic energy. Because remember, we have stillness and then we have peace. So stillness was the energy of the current connection. And then trust also. So trust, there will be a blessing and there is action coming. You guys may be going through ascension symptoms. And then we have that creativity. And that creativity goes with the Ace of, um, the Ace of Wands. Because the Ace of Wands is also creativity as well. Because remember I say you have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands, which I can't seem to find at the moment. But, yep. And then final uh, Surrender cards to see what they need to work on as far as their shadow. So Surrender to Denial. Because perhaps they were trying to make it work in the karmic relationship. And saying there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong, but... Now they're realizing they can't be in denial anymore. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. And surrender defensiveness. That's so funny because I said they're defending themselves. They're on the defense because they're getting attacked. So Spirit's saying surrender defensiveness. So that's what they're working on. Denial, outdated beliefs about themselves, and being defensive. Alright, so that's what they need to release as far as shadow work and letting things go and let's see what you need to release surrender to rest and sleep so yours it seems more into like meditation stillness because you have peace you have reassessment rest and sleep perhaps you haven't been sleeping as well or sleeping as much or sleeping as well surrender obsessive thinking so letting it go and being still about it. And then surrender to miracles. Because know that blessings are coming. Because remember you had the blessing cards as part of the energy. And now it's saying surrender to miracles. Because there will be action. If you're wondering like how come I don't see anything or hear anything. There will be action coming. Or action is happening behind the scenes. You just may not be seeing it. And uh, you know it takes trust. So have faith. And be still. Know there's a blessing on the way. And just uh, take care of you. Surrender to peace and rest. And good sleep. Alright. And the bottom of the deck is surrender to non-action. So if you're thinking about acting or doing something. Spirit saying now is the time to be still. There's that word again. Be still and not act. Which I know is difficult because you guys are Sagittarians. You guys are fire sign. Fire sign like to act, move, do, right? Be, you know, like hurry up. But it's not the time. Non-action. So that's why I say now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So let them come to you. All right? So... That's why you're having all this rest, sleep. So just focus on you, peace. And then you also have stillness in the energy card with the oracle at the beginning. So uh, <coughs> if you're reading, <coughs> if you're watching this reading, surrender frustration. Some of you may be frustrated because you're impatient or feeling impatient. So if you're watching the watching this reading. Thinking, should I act? Should I do something? Should I take this action or that action? The answer, I would say, would be no. Because right now is let go of non-action. Just go within. Be still. Hit the pause button. Hit the timeout button. Timeout. And be still for a little bit. Give it a minute. Or a couple minutes. <laughs> That's just a uh, metaphoric statement. Give it some time, and uh, and you'll see. Things will transpire. All right, Sagittarians, I hope that was helpful and useful to you. I hope it resonated. Let me know in the comments if it did. Wishing you all the best, love, and light to you, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.